Hey guys, welcome back. This lesson is titled, Overwhelm Your Experience with Your Chosen Preference. This lesson assumes that you've gone through the previous lessons, especially the ones in this chapter, if not all the ones in Empowerment, because it's very important before we do this that we have a balanced energy field, that we have a balanced understanding of ourselves, and that we no longer confuse true preference or true desire with lack-based needs or wants those desires that make us seek for security. We want the true passion, the true in alignment desires to be obvious to us. When we have a desire, we want it to be clear that this comes from a true place within ourselves. This comes from our true alignment, our true excitement with our source, with our higher self. So the prerequisite for this lesson most specifically is the previous lessons in this chapter, in this course, Empowerment 3, which is you have now unmixed your frequencies. You've practiced that. You have become clearer in your vibratory patterns, in your chosen vibrations. You have understood and experimented with the shift of going from assuming that you are a receiver of experiences to understanding and experiencing firsthand what it's like to adopt the view, the point of view, the experience, that you are actually the creator of all that you experience. Even if that creatorship doesn't always come from the conscious mind, it might come from the higher mind or the higher self. Nevertheless, you've experienced, you've tasted, you've allowed yourself to feel what it's like to understand that you are the creator, not the receiver. You are the giver of experiences, ultimately. And now that you have unmixed your frequencies and you've realized or tasted what it's like to be the creator of your experiences, you have also become doubtless in your chosen vibration, in your chosen quality of consciousness. So having become doubtless in a chosen quality has allowed you to become embodied in that quality, has allowed you to feel and experience that quality. It's kind of like a previous lesson in a previous course where we see it, feel it, and then we be it or we become it. First, there's the process of envisioning it, choosing our vibration, choosing the quality that we wish to become more of. Then we see it, we start to feel it. Once we see it, we start to feel it. And a feeling stage is significant because it allows us to know that those vibrations are presently being incorporated, are being downloaded, for lack of a better word, are being embodied into not only our physical bodies, but also our minds and our personal consciousnesses. So now we're inundating ourselves with that vibration. And so we are in the process, as we start feeling into the chosen vibration, we're in the process now of becoming that version of ourselves that is anchored in that chosen frequency. So now that you're clear on some of your core desires, we can go ahead with this lesson and we can take it up a notch. So take the chosen frequency that you have become doubtless in, or at least attempted to become doubtless and have practiced with to some extent and that you have unmixed your frequencies for so that now you are clear that this is the vibration, this is the vibratory state, this is the version of yourself that you would like to see, feel, taste, experience more of in your everyday life. Not only on a immediate, intimate, physical, emotional, vibrational level, but also on a circumstantial level. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that vibration you're going to, in a sense, meditate on this vibration or simply remember that vibration. Remember what it feels like. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What is it like to be that chosen frequency? Embody that feeling. And now, as you go about your everyday life, basically ignore all your circumstances. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to become completely unrealistic or that you can't talk to anyone anymore, unless for um, an innocent amount of time, that is a, a totally a fine option to take just for the sake of practice or experimentation. You can be by yourself, for example. However, it's not about denying reality as it is, but it is about not getting stuck on being focused on it whatsoever. So you can notice physical reality as it is. You can notice the conversations that are going on, but you don't actually have to pass the point of registering it. You don't actually have to place any emphasis on it. You don't actually have to give any meaning or story or vibration or attention span to the existing stories or circumstances or even the existing feelings in your own body. There's other practices for that, to come to acceptance, to let the feelings be as they are. Those are all very helpful practices. And I teach these in the Enlightenment course. So 
by all means, go check that out. Go experience that. It's very liberating. It's very peaceful. It's very freeing and very crucial. However, for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to just assume that you're already at a fairly high level of clarity within your vibratory state of being, within your state of consciousness. And now from this chosen state of preference of, of consciousness, of vibration, now that you are inundating yourself with this vibration, with this feeling, now you simply paste it onto everything that you experience. So if you're encountering a situation that previously you wouldn't really like, you wouldn't really enjoy, you had to find that in a negative way, or just simply actually didn't resonate for you, then do not necessarily deny that experience, but instead of sort of walking away from it, paste your preference onto it, overwhelm that experience with your chosen preference. That doesn't mean you have to start acting all silly and new agey, or like, you know, start waving around incense. It just means that in a very intimate, true, genuine, realistic way within yourself, you realize that all of this is vibration and that all of this is ultimately mirroring your state of consciousness, your state of being, your state of beliefs and vibration. And so you can actually alter this mirror reflection. You can allow it to alter its reflection of you when you no longer take your cue from what you see around you, from what's already physically here, which is technically a reflection of your past states of being and beliefs and vibrations. So now you're going to amp up this vibrational output. It's like turning up the demo switch on a light bulb and the brightness increases. So every time someone reminds you of the things you don't like, immediately overwhelm yourself with actually the opposite, not that there's opposite feelings so much, but with the feeling of your chosen preference. So someone might trigger briefly something you don't like. You use that as a reminder to instantly go back to the practice of this lesson, which is go back to the core root chosen quality of consciousness that you wish to embody and ignore any reason, any definitions, any triggers you might have that might be triggered by the circumstances or the people around you. And you allow any trigger that might come up to remind you to settle yourself, to anchor yourself, to root yourself, to inundate yourself even more in the vibratory feel of your chosen vibration, of your chosen preference. So now everything becomes this everyday reminder, this constant reminder for you to amp up your vibration and to feel and to see your vibration and your chosen preference that much more. So now when you're looking at the person that you perhaps don't really like, or once they've told you something you don't really like, instead of being triggered by it, you've chosen to, in a sense, immediately get over yourself, almost deny yourself the process of having to go through that investigation process, again, just for the purpose of this exercise, just to strengthen your capacity to choose a frequency without needing much process to do so. So you simply allow yourself to shift instantly and to go higher and to go higher and to imagine even more brightly, again, without having to act all weird, but to imagine within yourself to choose even more brightly, more vividly, more confidently, more doubtlessly, more single-mindedly, the feeling state, the vibratory state, as well as the seeing state of your vibratory state that you wish to become and that you wish to see reflected in your circumstances. So this is all about not taking your cues from outcome whatsoever. Like they're in, in overwhelming your experience with your chosen preference, there is no room for waiting to see what happens. There is no room for waiting to see how the circumstances reflect your chosen vibration because that would be you lowering, making a concession on your chosen vibratory preference. And when you do that, then yes, the circumstances will reflect your hesitation, your doubt, your lack of conviction, etc. So it's important to bring this experience with you into everything. And to even you can use visual exercises too. So take the chosen preference, take the chosen reality, the version of yourself, whatever that might look like and feel like or whatever you might have at that point or be or be doing. Take that visualization, that imagination with the feeling state and now paste it onto your circumstances. So instead of seeing the things as you normally see them, you now are not really focused on what you are seeing, but how you wish to see it instead and you're placing more of your consciousness, more of your attention on how you want it to look like rather than what you think or would previously have defined your experiences to look like. So let's just use, for example, something very practical. Now let's say that, um, let's say that you own a Nissan Altima 
and it's a, it's a fairly old model and you're not really excited about it anymore. It doesn't really represent, doesn't really channel the feeling of who you are as accurately as it used to at one point. You have grown vibrationally, experientially, and as a result, you might want to wear different clothes or you might want to drive a different car or you might want to move to a different state, who knows. But as you increase your vibration, as you go through these growth processes, you will notice that you gain a bigger perspective and you gain different desires for different physical expressions or extensions of yourself. So just even purely talking about physical manifestation level here, since this is titled Become a Manifestation Powerhouse, this course, um, let's say that you're owning an Nissan Altima and it feels outdated. Vibrationally, it no longer feels like it represents, like it feels no longer feels like it's an extension of your vibration. It feels like there's a gap there. So now, every time that you approach your Nissan Altima, every time that you approach that car, instead of being triggered by that and instead of defining it as the Nissan Altima and instead of seeing it from the old filters that you're already used to, I want you to imagine, I want you to try to paste your preference onto that experience and overwhelm not only your internal feeling state with the vibratory state that you desire more, so not only feel, let's say you desire to drive a Lamborghini, not only feel the Lamborghini experience, like what that would be like and how you would feel in that version of yourself to whom that is the extension physically, the car extension of who you are, but also visualize it, also see it. So basically you're not actually noticing the car that you have. You're not noticing what is just past the point of registering. Of course, reasonably, yes, there is a Nissan Altima. If you had to agree to that, you could definitely agree to that. But experientially for the purpose of this exercise, you don't have to agree to that at all. Because again, this universe is vibrational. It is a mirror reflection. It is smoke and mirrors. And this illusion will reflect whatever you say it is. It becomes whatever you say it is. So if you root yourself powerfully in the chosen vibration of how it feels like to be in the version of yourself that drives that Lamborghini, again, this is a purely physical manifestation exercise or example in this case, but you can apply it to any level of consciousness or desire. Now, when you approach your car, instead of approaching it with the filters that you're used to approaching it with, instead see the Lamborghini, feel the Lamborghini, respond energetically, vibrationally and verbally and mentally to the Lamborghini that you are about to step into. Like dilute yourself for that period of time, for that moment, for that experience, for that experiment. Feel free to dilute yourself and to really grab onto the steering wheel and to picture the inside cabin of the Lamborghini and what it feels like and what the version of yourself feels like. So visually, as well as tangibly, feeling-wise, viscerally, overwhelm your experience and your circumstances with your chosen preference. And look not for the outcome. Don't go check whether your Nissan Altima turned into Lamborghini yet. Don't check in with that because immediately that lowers your frequency. Don't go and check your bank account or your bank statement. Um, unless when you do open your bank statement, you are able to see and feel your chosen preference much, much, much more so than you see and feel what you realistically would assume it to be based on the numbers, based on the facts. And again, realize that facts are just mirror reflections of your state of being, of your chosen preference anyway. So now that you bring into you opening your bank statement or walking to your car, now that you bring that new energy with you and you can practice this, this can become more powerful, this can become more overwhelming. You can start to even feel at one with your surroundings just because you're exuding and radiating this chosen vibratory feel of whatever your desire is, whatever your true aligned desire or preference is. So bring that new energy with you as you're checking your bank statement. Bring that energy with you as you're driving your car, regardless of the car that is your car and regardless of the numbers that you see on the screen when you open your bank statement. Be determined for the purpose of this exercise and for the rest of your life, why not? Of course, without losing that part of you which understands that realistically people live in a certain world where you can say this is red, this is green, this is a Nissan Altima, it's not a Lamborghini. 
But even saying something like that, even having a factual conversation with someone doesn't have to distract you from feeling and imagining more powerfully that actually, no, I know that I'm talking to them in that reality, but I'm already in my reality. And actually for me, it is a Lamborghini. I don't, I don't have to prove that to them. I don't have to sound deluded just to get my point across. I'm doubtless in my chosen vibration. And so for me, this already is the Lamborghini experience. For me, my bank statement already is super abundant. For me, I'm already traveling around the world. For me, I'm already spreading the light in my unique way. For me, I'm already living exactly where I want to be living. So overwhelm yourself without losing that sort of what people call sanity part of your mind, where you can relate to the people that live in the physical world. So again, that doesn't have to distract you. You can keep your sanity. You can keep your ability to relate to other people. You can keep your ability to communicate reasonably, realistically, without it actually affecting your vibration much at all you can always at any point choose your preferred state, realizing that you're playing a different game than most people are playing and that that's okay. But you realize that life responds to your vibration and so it's key for you when you're noticing a Nissan Altima to feel about that Nissan Altima or to visualize that Nissan Altima in whatever way feels the most profound to you. When it feels the most ecstatic to you, you're activating the vibration and the law of attraction and so you will then see those mirror reflections back. Again, of course, make sure that your desires are coming from a truly ex exciting place. Now, that doesn't mean that a desire for a Lamborghini is always coming from a disgenuine place. It can come from a very genuine place. It can be an actual, actually a very genuine, authentic desire. And sometimes there might be filters there that still make you believe that that would make you happy. But you see, the beautiful thing about this type of vibrational practice, as you're amping up your vibration and as you're choosing your preferred state of being and as you're overwhelming your experience and your circumstance with that chosen visualization and feeling state, as you start practicing that and deepening that and feeling the union of your physical manifestation and your state of being, seeing that they're inseparable, feeling the union of that, feeling that actually you're always bleeding into your experience. There is no separation. So as you start practicing that, you will actually encounter all of those lack beliefs that become increasingly more subtle. And by lack beliefs, again, to clarify, I mean things like, if I have this Lamborghini, I will be happy. If I have two more zero digits behind the number of my bank statement, I'll be that much more happy doesn't mean that yes, your life wouldn't be different and that you wouldn't feel like you had more freedom of movement and motion, but that's not actually, actually factually the case. So it's important for you to first be in the state that you're wanting to be in. First feel the version of yourself and what it feels like and overwhelm your experience with it. And then reality has to respond to that in some way. Now, like I said, the beauty of this exercise is that not only is it empowering, it is also if you're paying attention to the signals that you're getting and to how this is working and when it is working and when it isn't working and how life is reflecting you, your belief systems, if you're paying attention to that without swaying from your chosen vibration, but pay attention to that. You're also learning. You are also receiving guidance while you're exuding your preference. So if you pay attention, you will notice very quickly that by raising your frequency and by becoming the chosen version of yourself, you will naturally, naturally bring to light those subtler lack beliefs that make you think sometimes that you want the Lamborghini, but actually maybe you don't want the Lamborghini per se. You just want to feel the way you want to feel when you have the Lamborghini. Maybe it's a different car that you want. Maybe something else will happen spontaneously that will be that much better. Maybe you want to become a pilot instead and cars suddenly uh, lose all their interest to you. You don't know how this is going to unfold, so you have to have no attachment to outcome whatsoever when you're overwhelming your experience with your chosen vibration. You need to allow the details to figure themselves out and not even look for proof or confirmation or evidence in the circumstances for what you're doing working out. You just have to choose the chosen vibration you want to see and feel because that feels best to you. And then naturally you'll become clearer on what you truly, truly, truly desire. And even if the Lamborghini is already very close to what you truly desire, even then in the process of manifesting that and attracting that to yourself and the challenges and the doubts and the, and the confirmations and the victories that you'll go through as a human being, activating new vibrations and attracting it and having its doubts show up to itself, 
this clearing process will then allow you to become a that much clearer being as to what do I truly want and when am I coming from greed or from belief in lack and when am I coming from actual passion and excitement and the conviction that everything is abundant and that I can do whatever I want to do with maintaining my integrity um, whenever I want to do that, that there is no limitation. When am I coming from that space truly of freedom, of benefit, of alignment with all that there is, alignment with everyone's higher selves, alignment with my highest passion. When am I coming from that state of abundance and desiring more of myself to crystallize, to manifest in that way? And when am I coming from sort of an, um, a, a vain idea of, oh, I like this, or I really, really want this because this, 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 this and I have all these reasons, but that can all come back to lack beliefs. But the beauty of this process is that empowering yourself to great extents will show you these lack beliefs. They will be forced to the service. Whereas if you're afraid of that, if you're afraid of stating, I want the Lamborghini, I do desire that. If you're afraid to state, I do desire more money, then you will never actually enter that process because you're in a state of guilt. You will never actually enter the process of unfolding yourself and encountering those hidden vibrations that then can be cleared out and make you a clearer, more transparent vessel being and conduit for benefiting not only your own life, but everyone else's by example and by generosity and by freedom and by showing your skills and talents to the world without it needing to do anything for you because you're already fulfilled. If you're afraid, if you keep yourself small because you think desire, desiring a Lamborghini or desiring more money is materialistic and not spiritual, maybe on some level you might have a point, but there is no use fullness in suppressing that desire if it is indeed there. If there is a desire, it does need to be explored. Now those desires that in the rare case scenario might, um, some people might desire to somehow like harm, they might have some kind of a weird fetish or some kind of a weird imagination that they desire to harm another person. In that case scenario, of course, don't overwhelm your experience with that vibratory state and actually go and slaughter people, but simply um, play this out in a very conscious way, in a very balanced way, as, as balanced as you can on the imaginative plane. But suppressing it will never truly help you. Allow yourself room to breathe with those desires that might come from lack, that might come from um, a not so good childhood, that might come from um, conditioning. So allow yourself to explore these desires, but on the imaginative level. Um, and learn from these desires as you go. Learn, extract the true benefit from these desires and allow the falsity, allow the, the unclear vibrations to be integrated, to fall away, to be resolved in that way. Um, for everything else, everything that feels good and positively oriented and where you feel like this benefits in some way everyone else, when you're overwhelming your experience with your chosen preference, you will see that naturally that will extend itself into physical action and it will feel good. And in the process of doing so, and in the process of allowing yourself to desire whatever you desire, you are then able to that much faster come to true healing state, to a true state of balance, to a true state of clarity and transparency, from which then every desire that you have will start to be known as being pure because you no longer have these distortions that you used to be working out. You still have beliefs to let go of in different faces, but they're no longer really negative or, or self-debilitating. Uh, they're no longer undermining who you are, your infinite worth, and that essentially your true desires are worthy of expression and want to be explored. So choose the preference that you have. Allow that desire to inundate you. And of course, be keen, be attentive, and learn as you go what makes sense and what doesn't make sense, what resonates and what doesn't resonate the purpose of this exercise. See it, feel it, become it, your chosen preference, your chosen frequency, whether that's the Lamborghini, whether that's the new suit, the bigger bank account, or whether that is the relationship, or whether that is the spiritual state of being, or whether that is your profession that you envision doing, or the freedom to move around this planet freely. Whatever that might be, whatever your true desire of choice for this exercise might be, inundate yourself with it, become it, overwhelm your experience with it, allow yourself to feel into that state and watch as your circumstances start to sort of like not know what it needs to do with it and then suddenly it comes back to you full force. It comes back to you in a very clear, clean way.
and it will show you then what doesn't resonate fully, what isn't fully purified yet, and what was very pure about it. And so as you go, you will become a more balanced, purified being. And then your desires will become that much more powerful because there's less and less interference of the personal ideologies that you're carrying with you. It becomes cleaner and cleaner, less and less personal constructs in the way. And then desire and manifestation are almost synonymous. They're almost instantaneously connected. So practice this. That's the exercise. That's the homework for this lesson is to actually go out into your everyday life and have fun with this. Imagine the colors you want to imagine. Imagine the shapes and sizes you want to imagine. Imagine the feelings. Feel the feelings that you want to feel. Be the version of you. What would it feel like if I was that version of myself? And inundate, completely overwhelm your experience. Do not look for proof. Do not look for evidence that things are going well for you. Just know that things are going well for you. Overwhelm your experience with your chosen preference. Don't look at the facts for the purpose of this exercise. And you will become better at this as you go. And you will become cleaner in the process of doing so. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lesson.